Hi, my name is Andy Jensen. I'm the general manager here at Mad River Outfitters, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about real maintenance. Um, every once in a while, somebody will come in and they'll look at a reel like a T-bar, and they're like, geez, you know, I would really like to get one that is no maintenance. Um, thinking that the maintenance on these is difficult, and it's not. Um, these will last a long, long time if they're properly taken care of. So I was gonna go ahead and walk you through a little bit of this so you can see just how easy it is um, to basically have your reel last forever. I've seen uh, T-Bores come into the shop that literally were two and three generations old. Um, and really, it takes very little. So here we have a uh, T-Bor Riptide, and a lot of people will come into the shop and they'll ask um, you know about what it takes to maintain one of these reels it's real simple so we're going to go ahead and walk you through it um, there are half of their line is designed like this as far as maintenance is concerned uh, and the other half of the line is the light series so what we're going to do is we're going to go in take a penny and undo this part the knob when you're taking this stuff apart you want to make sure that inside the edges there's no salt buildup um, really one of the, the the worst environments is the salt water you want to make sure that this stuff is uh, rinsed in fresh water um, you know any of these places where salt water can dry up you want to make sure that those places are rinsed out so now that we've gotten the nut off and we've taken the drag knob off, you just pull it apart. And this piece of cork right here is what we're concerned about. Um, over a period of time, if this, isn't, if this isn't lubed or taken care of, it'll get dry. And then all you're gonna do is take T-Bor grease, which they sell. Um, we carry it here at the shop. So you just take a little bit of the grease you put it on the cork, make sure that it's got a good coating on it, make sure that all of these buttons, these little spring-loaded buttons, are still moving freely. Make sure that the paws are covered. So these moving pieces down here, make sure that those are covered with just a little bit of grease. Not a problem, you just wanna make sure that they're covered uh, and that there's no salt residue. That really is all there is to maintaining one of these reels. Um, when you put it back together, again, you want to make sure that there's grease around any little bearings. Um, I always wipe off the old grease from here. I'll go ahead and remove that. Um, you don't need to apply any to here. It's already on the cork. Underneath, on the other side of the spool, is this and it might be a little tight especially if it has spent some time in the salt but you want to unscrew that remove it and this is your drag spring system so on here you'll notice this is a brand new one there's a little bit of white grease on there that's what you want to coat again so just take a little bit of your grease smear a little bit on there um, this spring you want to make sure is coated in grease. From the factory it comes already coated. Like I said, this one is brand new. Um, it's got all sorts in there. So you put it back together. The, the, the amount of grease on there, it's not going to stop from working properly um, if you put too much in there. <laughs> and then it's pretty much the reverse. You know, you put it all back together again. So you have your cap which goes back over the top. And we get that tightened down on there. And then this lines back up. There's a little slot in this side. And you just turn it until that goes through. Take your drag knob. Put it back on there. Tighten it down. Cap. 
I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. And then remember we used a penny to take this apart. Um, I don't recommend using a screwdriver or anything like that because the, the material can be hard and scratch everything up. So that is the maintenance and greasing of one of the reels. The other T-bore reel is got the Constalube system and it actually is even easier. So this is a Backcountry CL by T-bore. Again, this little knob here in the middle comes off and all you do is lift the spool off. Under this spool is going to be this drag plate, this foot right here, this foot has cork on the inside of it. So between this drum and this foot is cork. The product that they use is Constalube. It's just graphite and oil, but I really recommend using theirs. It's going to be applied onto this cotton on the other side. And you just put a couple of drops on here until you can actually see it kind of absorb in. And what's going to happen is when that drag is applied, um, it's going to draw lube out of there and between the cork. So we mentioned earlier, or I mentioned earlier, that you want to make sure and always back your drag system off. Well, this is particularly important with this one as well, is you want to make sure that the drag is backed all the way off when you store it so you're not compressing that cork. But that's all there is to maintaining these reels. Um, now we're going to just go ahead and check and make sure that there's no salt deposits uh, in any of these little grooves, any places in the middle of the spool that you might have, you just want to make sure. All of the backing and line does not need to be taken off. Um, again, if you just put the whole reel down into fresh water, not hot to wash away the grease, um, and nece not necessarily overly cold, but just room temperature water, um, all of those salt deposits will, will go away. And when you're lubing them, it gives you the opportunity to go in and double check. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. Make sure everything is tightened down and you make sure that your drag is backed off all the way. Again, you notice a little bit of slop in there and it's ready for storage. And next time you get it out to use it, it'll be ready to go. Again, this is a really simple thing to do. Uh, you just, it only takes a couple minutes. You don't want to miss a big catch um, because you didn't maintain a reel properly. Uh, you can always come in uh, to Mad River Outfitters. You can always give us a call and ask and we can walk you through this. Uh, but again, it's a really simple process. It's, it's easy to keep these reels in good shape. Um, thank you for watching. This is Andy Jensen of Mad River Outfitters.